today's video and I'm so excited to spend some time with you today making five cozy fall drinks. So we have three that are not caffeinated and then there's two that are caffeinated. We're gonna do a caramel apple cider, a maple spice latte, pumpkin sweet cream cold brew, pumpkin spiced white hot chocolate, and a maple cinnamon latte. I'm going to have all the recipes linked down below. These are not all original to me, so I'm going to make sure that I either have links or the recipes and give credit where credit is due. I'm excited for this. I hope you are too. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what is your favorite fall time or even just cold weather drink, and let's get into it. There's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin The maple cinnamon latte so we're going to need three quarter cup milk half a cup coffee one and a half tablespoons maple syrup and a quarter teaspoon cinnamon and I'm gonna start off with just heating up the milk in order to steam it if you do not have a steamer I have mine out here I'll link it down below actually it's super affordable but if you do not have a steamer you can just go ahead and throw it in the blender that'll help froth it up or use a handheld whisk whatever you want but it's just to help get the milk that foamy top while the milk is steaming I'm gonna go ahead and just basically assemble this so we're gonna pour in our half cup of coffee And then we're gonna add the maple syrup and cinnamon. And then we're gonna add the milk. is my favorite one which is the rooibos latte so we're gonna need two third cup water which we're gonna heat right away and then two teaspoons of loose tea or you can use rooibos tea bags and then a half teaspoon vanilla extract one cup milk and a teaspoon of honey and then we're also gonna use some cinnamon to garnish it later but I'm just gonna go ahead and steep my tea here I get asked so much where this tea strainer is from you can order one from Amazon but I just got mine from a thrift store I'll link the one from Amazon down below but it is a lot more expensive so keep your eyes open at a thrift store this thing is so handy the tea is steep we're just going to go ahead and stir in the honey as well as the vanilla and then we're going to steam the milk and assemble so easy but so so tasty rooibos has got to be one of my all-time favorite teas ever uh, so i was super excited about this recipe hand in hand building castles out of sand reaching for the grand up is pumpkin spice white hot chocolate y'all this tastes just like pumpkin pie in a mug so what we're gonna need is one and a half cups whole milk half a cup canned pumpkin puree half a teaspoon pumpkin pie spice a pinch of ground cloves half a teaspoon vanilla a pinch of salt and two ounces of white chocolate to start off with I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all of this milk with a pumpkin and the pumpkin pie spice and cloves vanilla and salt and we're gonna heat that until it's nice and hot. Okay, this is starting to look really nice and dissolved, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my white chocolate and also turn off the stove at this point. And while the chocolate melts in here, I'm gonna go ahead and whip up my whipping cream. I just poured a whole bunch of cream into here because uh, I was gonna use it for some later recipes, but you wouldn't need <laughs> that much. This is just simply for garnish, so we're just gonna whip that up. And 
and assemble, which is the fun part. I love like any sort of food styling. Oh, it's so fun. Um, but we're just gonna pour our white hot chocolate into here and then I'm gonna put on too much whipping cream. I did not think this through. I should have stopped here, but I put on another one and everything kind of went south from here. <laughs> um, it's gonna start dumping over the sides, but regardless, we're gonna put on some white hot chocolate on top and then sprinkle some cinnamon and it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be so tasty. Agents of the other, beyond gravel, beyond Number four is pumpkin sweet cream cold brew. The rage, isn't it? We're gonna need half a cup cold brew, one tablespoon of pumpkin puree, quarter cup heavy whipping cream, a splash of vanilla syrup, and turmeric, surprise. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix our whipping cream, our pumpkin, our vanilla, and our turmeric. And I also did add a little bit of maple syrup to the whipping cream. I mixed it and put it into my milk frother and guys I wish I wouldn't have it came out kind of lumpy instead of just this nice foamy so I'm not sure if it was too thick or if it was a problem with my cream um, but just imagine that this is nice and frothy <laughs> really messed with my presentation but I didn't have time to do it again so um, it still tasted the same but it would have looked prettier if it if I wouldn't have put it in there. So anyways, learn from my mistake, I guess. And then all you Starbucks drinkers, let me know, does this actually taste like a Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew? And it's time for the grand finale, which is this caramel apple cider. So we're gonna need one cup apple juice, half a cup of sliced apples, half a tablespoon caramel sauce, one stick of cinnamon or cinnamon powder, which is what I used, a squeeze of lemon juice, and a quarter cup of heavy cream. And we're gonna go ahead and mix the apple juice, sliced apples, caramel sauce, cinnamon, and lemon juice in a saucepan and heat it up. And this is totally up to you. You can either drink this hot or cold. The place where I got the recipe from, they did it cold. They let it cool after this. I like my apple cider hot, so I went ahead and heated this up. Um, it's up to you, but I'm gonna pour that into my cup here. And then again, super easy peasy lemon squeezy. We are just gonna top it with some whipped cream and drizzle more of that caramel sauce so good and then I'm just gonna put in a little slice of apple just you know decor <laughs> food decor I guess and it's good to go